Hey guys, it's me again. So today I'm gonna be twisting my hair, basically. So this is what it looks like before, you know. So I have my water bottle, I have some clips. I kinda use the same things when I do my hair, but different products. I have my Camille Rose twisting butter and moisture milk. So that's what I'm gonna be using in my hair today. So I'm gonna be parting my hair. Gonna spray it okay after you spray it you're gonna put some twisting butter on it like that much I'm looking in the mirror y'all so if I'm not looking at y'all I apologize run it through your hair take some moisture milk Take that, you separate one, just like in my other video, we're just gonna twist it. And then you wrap it around. If you want your ends to be curly, you wrap it around your finger. And if you feel like it's dry, add some moisture. So, I realize nobody told me that my other video my my traffic chat you are not able to see it on the phone very well and I'm like why nobody I thought we was cool so I had to take it down because it wasn't it wasn't the best of quality first of all and it was like an inch wide on the computer screen my mom said and I'm like really really I edited that and it's not quality I guess so I just took it down oh well so I'm doing another uh, I'm not doing another video on my phone and we'll see how the quality looks like this time so we will see taking some more twist and butter with about six twists in your hair if you do it this way and if it does get tangled just slowly untangle it do not pull your hair Every, we like our hair so we don't want to pull it and yank on it just saying twist my hair very often usually I just um wet it put some product in it and go and part it whichever way and then go so I do these twists and then I hop in the shower then I put my makeup on and then like five minutes before I walk out the door that is when I take them out I don't have to put any oil on this because these two products have a lot of moisture so we're just gonna stick with that long to do this I like quick hairstyles it's not gonna take me forever in a day cuz I don't want to diffuse my hair I like wash and goes but literally when I wash and go my hair still be wet when I leave the house so it's my version of wash and go because I don't sit there and um, diffuse it and all this extra stuff and I'm like oh, I don't have time so I just put some product on it part it put some um, edge control and your girl be out the door out the door it smells so good too like it smells like marshmallows <laughs> and I don't even like marshmallows I'm like marshmallow slash like cupcake and I don't even like marshmallows that's the funny part I also show you the edge control that I used to. I used two different ones. It's probably the curls brand. It's like the blueberry bus curl jelly or whatever. Curling paste, that's what it's called. 
I use that. And I use Gyra. I don't know how to pronounce it, but I use this. This is really good too. Order off of Amazon or order off of um, just their site. And you're done. This side. They get chunky as they dry. See? with this primer, the Smashbox primer. Not that much. I'm just gonna quickly comb out my eyebrows. What's next? We're going to a color correct. I use this NYX color correct palette. I'm gonna use this orange one over here. Wherever I see dark marks, that's where I'll put it. I didn't show this in the intro, but I'm gonna use this Clinique's Acne Solution Liquid Makeup. It's the color 08. I'm gonna put it on the back of my hand, like this much. Take my flat brush. That was nearly not enough on my face, so go to the Lord. Too. And then what you do is you shave it. That's a thick eyebrow. Oh well. Uh, I don't really know how to do my eyebrows. I'm gonna take this color and put it underneath my eyebrows. And then smooth it out with your finger. I don't know why I decided to um, record my makeup because I don't know what I'm doing. First of all, it's an experiment every time I do my makeup. We're gonna use this Wet n Wild bronzer. See if it helps anything. And then just go around. I'm gonna take this highlighter. We're gonna use the same brush, which is not good. Cause I didn't bring out my brushes. So we're just gonna. I wanna look like I don't have any makeup on. That was the point of this, this whole thing. So we're gonna use the Smashbox mascara. Well, it's waterproof as well, guys. Look at that eye. Bam. With? Without. You know when I put on mascara, why do I always sneeze? So I gotta sneeze with my eyes open. So a mascara won't get on my skin. I feel like mascara is like the one makeup product that's the hardest to get off. Does anybody have to agree with me? See, I got it on my skin. If anybody agrees with me about it's the hardest, my makeup product to get off, comment below, please. I know I'm not the only one. I'm gonna use, this is my NYX lingerie. It's the color Teddy. And I'm gonna use NYX Butter Gloss, this one. And it's color BLG16. 
it matches the color of my skin tone, so that's why. That's why we're doing it. It is matte as well, so I'm gonna put I'm gonna put some gloss. I think I'm gonna use this one. This one is NYX Butter Gloss in the color BOG07. I gotta spray my face with this Smashbox Primer Water. It's my makeup. They're still wet because I didn't do them that long ago. So we're just gonna start untwisting. Untwist like that. Untwist them all first. It's okay to um, untwist them while they're still wet. Just don't touch them too much because you don't want frizz. Nobody wants frizz. Alright, so now that they're all untwisted, you can go like this. But no, we're just gonna start separating. too much because it's already going to be fluffy because it's still wet. Forgot about my edge control. This is what it looks like. I'll take a, I'll insert a few pictures as well so you can see a closer texture all right guys that is it that is my get ready with me i appreciate you guys for watching and stay tuned for my next video help hold on hold on make sure there's a red button down there you know what i'm gonna tell you the red button click on it it says subscribe yes click on that subscribe button and also click on the notification bell so when i upload a video you are notified so you can see the next video that i create for you guys so thank you so much for watching and stay tuned for more bye that was my washing machine